Gotta get there, gonna be late. Gonna be late. Come on, man. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hope I do not get fired today. Should, should be there. Oh, no. You better hurry, man. Do not pull out in front of me and go slow. Come on. Come on. Hey. Oh, he just brake checked me. Oh, no, he just, he, get out. Get out of here. Get out of the way. Take it. Oh, he just threw something. That's it. Oh, I'm going to turn on two lasers for this one. You're going down, sucker. Demolition Ranch. Christmas is coming up soon and if you want to look the best at Christmas dinner this year, we got you covered. We have brand new Demolition Ranch Christmas sweaters. Five ton truck, five tons of Christmas. We got it from the front and we got it from the back. That sounded weird, but we got them linked in the description below if you want to get a Christmas sweater. And you might be thinking, Matt, like me and my bro both want to get Christmas sweaters, but we're going to the same party and we don't want to be wearing the same thing. I got you, bro. We got other ones. These are actually last year's Christmas sweater. We still have a few of these left. So while we have them, these are also linked in the description below. And you can look good with the 2019 Christmas sweaters as well. And these are all actual knit sweaters. Look how good they look out of focus. Look at that. They're real sweaters. And they're real awesome. Get them now. Welcome to Demolition Ranch! Oh, that's your problem right there! I was just recently saying this is the best car we've ever had on Demolition Ranch. Took out that tree though, look at that! Golly! Well, the El Cromino strikes again. Hey, I got a cool video for you guys. You wanna come hang out? Let's go to the range. So you guys remember this little gun. This is the Altor 9mm. It's a very simple, very inexpensive gun. It's not super accurate though, so I decided we'd put a Picatinny rail on the top so we can mount red dots and scopes and stuff. And we did this once before, but the glue we used fell off and the, the red dot fell off. So we scored it this time, put some better glue on there. I think the rail will have a better chance of holding now. And then I thought, you know what's more accurate than a red dot is scope. But I don't want to put like a really nice scope on here. So we decided we'd go to Amazon to do a little testing and I uh, ordered a cheap scope, really cheap off Amazon. And then I got into it and I was like, I kind of want to order a bunch of cheap stuff off Amazon just to see if the cheaper stuff is actually lesser in quality. So I ordered a ton of really cheap stuff to test off Amazon. And when I got it all in, I realized it all hooks together. Like they all have Picatinny rails on top of scopes, on top of flashlights, and it all just mounts together. And then I thought, well, I got a Picatinny rail on this. What if I just, oh yeah, we put it all together and now we have a, uh, a lot of stuff. And then I was like, man, it's just not ready. And so we reached out to Altor and I was like, hey, you know it'd be cool if y'all made this same barrel, but you threaded it. Now I have the ultimate in zombie hunting self-defense. Let me walk you through some of its quirks and features. Where to start, where to start? Well, for one, most military guns, like Berettas, they had a lanyard. And so we wanted to make sure to incorporate a lanyard in this so that it could be considered for the military trials. You have to have some way to hold your gun. So let's get to, let's get to the exciting stuff up here. You might be like, Matt, is that a green laser? Why, yes it is. Check that out. And you might be like, Matt, is that another green laser? <laughs> Very astute, my friend. But have you ever wanted to get two targets with one shot? Well, this won't do that, but it would scare them. If there's two bad guys, they wouldn't know which one you're gonna get. Not really, here's the real deal, guys. So this laser right here, you can see on that target, that is sighted in for our short range at 400 yards. And then this laser that's up higher is sighted in for our long range at 4,000 yards. And you might be like, Matt, why is one off to the right of the other? That's because this one is actually computer controlled too. And it knows that 4,000 yards down, there's a crosswind going this way. So it, it compensates for that to bring it, to bring it back. So perfect shot every time. One thing that I never liked with regular ARs and guns that have red dots in them is like, you only have one red dot. 
and you have two eyes. Why are you limiting yourself and only aiming with half of your visibility? I'm gonna take this barrel off so it's safe and I can point it at you guys. So I have two red dots on here, so I can aim like this with both eyes. 100% of my visibility is going toward aiming, which means I am 100% more accurate than you are with your single sight. And you might have thought this wasn't well thought out, but this scope right here is also a cheek rest. It doubles as a cheek rest, so I can get the perfect visibility. And then it's like, oh no, that guy's 40,000 yards out. Better go back to my scope, turn it up to 100 power, got it. Now I've got a line on him, we'll take the shot. You might be wondering, Matt, that's a nice flashlight, and why do you have two of them? Think about it, think it over. It's just because I actually leave my flashlights on a lot, and I don't wanna run out of battery. So if I run out, I have a, it's just a backup. The, the second flashlight, just, just a backup in case. Matt, why did you need a suppressor? <laughs> I'm not even gonna go there, that's a dumb question. But on the end of the suppressor, I've got a bipod for the extra stable, accurate shots. When I'm really reaching out to touch something. This is our first time to fire it in its current configuration. So that is how you load it, like so, and we are ready to fire. We've never fired it with these sights. We've never fired a laser. We've never fired it with this barrel that is threaded and suppressed. I'm gonna aim just with the right green laser, right at our biggest target to see where it's going. Mm, I don't think it hit. That was nice and quiet. All right, no more ears. Trying again, I'm trying to figure out where this thing's going. That looked like it went really low. Oh, I was using the 4,000 yard laser. Let's switch. That actually, that one might work. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, we got a hit, hit right there. So a little bit low. Maybe the red dots will be on. Oh yeah, this, this red dot looks good, one sec. All right, I'm gonna try to hit dead center in that pink now. Okay, I know where to aim now, I got it. I'll figure this out, we're getting close. Center plate, here we come. That is unfortunate. You know, this video started out as being like a testing Amazon parts. Um, Oh, it wasn't gonna be a good video anyway, so it's it's actually, it's a blessing in disguise that this thing fell off. I'm better with iron sights anyway, so I'll just go straight to the irons. Oh, we ground the irons off so we could glue that on there. I'm more of like a just shooting by feel kind of guy anyway, so it's fine. You know what, I don't think we're gonna need that either. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just shoot by feel and see how she goes. Let's see if I can hit a target now without aiming without sights I, like I was thinking I mean I built this gun to be like a, a bed stand gun for like self-defense in the middle of the night but it was a little too heavy anyway it, it's fine I just this is why we test things you know we test things so that we know what their limits are and we we found it and apparently I'm more accurate without sights anyway so a blessing in disguise a, just a blessing guys another reason we we're doing this video is because I wanted to test this this was made by one of you guys and unfortunately, I lost the note. It's been sitting in the barn for a little while. I lost the note um, to tell me how he made this, but very thick material. It feels like cast material, honestly, and it's fairly light. It feels like there could be some kind of ceramic component to it. I don't know, I'm not sure what's in it, but he put this awesome sticker on there. NIJ rating, question mark. That guy's awesome meme face. To be determined by Demo Ranch. We're not actually gonna determine it too much today because all I have is a, Nine millimeter with a barrel that's this long. So we'll see if it is a level 3A or if it is not. Can I hit it though? That's the question. All right, nine millimeter at the homemade, demolition made body armor. There he knows a solid hit. Look how good I am with this gun. And not even a dent. Okay, we'll uh, have to do some further testing with this on a later episode, but guy who sent this demolition member whose name I have forgotten and whose note I lost I'm sorry thank you for your service in building this and uh, we'll see it again where we'll actually find out the rating it is probably 3a at least need more content in this video because I planned on doing a lot more testing with this but it broke so uh, I'll just try to shoot the star I'll see if I can clear the star with this thing here we go Oh, <laughs> easy. Easy if you're good like me and don't even need sights on your three inch barreled gun. Not a problem. We got this. Let's see what we can do. Wow, I missed out by like three feet. Uh, 
Stars, stars, not that's nah, dumb. That's that's dumb. Let's actually go bowling. Let's do a little bowling over here. See what I can do with those bowling pins. Here we go. Bowling's a stupid sport. No one wants. That's not even not even a real sport. It's a dumb sport, but it's not real. I missed the Amazon stuff, so I decided to bring it back, but we don't have any glue or time to wait, so I just taped it to my arm. So now we've got lasers and lights and scopes, and it's all perfectly in line with me firing. I mean, like, look how good this is, right? Look, aiming here. Know exactly where it's going to fire. This actually, in my opinion, is revolutionary. We were actually gonna unveil this at SHOT Show 2021, but they just canceled it. So you guys will have to wait till SHOT Show 22 for this to be available to the market. Okay. If I can actually get this to work, I'm going to be rich. Firing. <laughs> Let's see how accurate I can be with this thing. <laughs> I'm a bad man. I'm a bad man with this thing. God, if you guys want to start having guns built by me, just let me know. I'll probably start a company where I um, make bionic arm guns. It's probably the future. Most, most likely is the future. It's definitely the future. Totally forgot. Didn't have my bipod on. So a lot of you guys are asking how I do like my 4,000 yard shots. Pretty simple. I get my bipod arm, just lay down, Ugh, get a comfy position. Hit that laser out and take the shot. Easy as that. Next episode, I'll show you how I can hit 4,000 yards with my bionic arm. Until then, thanks for watching Demolition Ranch. I love you. And I'll see you next time. Sorry if I just got the laser in your eye. Contact. That's a great idea. <laughs> what about the quad car? Bobby!